Hi guys, for those of you who are familiar with the iPad code video, you will be very familiar with the sounds that come out of the iPad code video. So I'm just going to play it very quickly for those of you who aren't aware. Pay particular attention to the chimes that you hear in the background. For me, one. For me, one. For me, one. That's, there they are. Shame on. Shame on. Now listen to this. Day, only a small number will leave a lasting impact. And only the very few will make decisions or take actions that renew their homeland and change the course of history. Whoever created this video for Donald Trump to play to Kim Jong-un has taken some of the music from the iPad Go 2 video. What does that mean? I think it means that the iPad Go 2 video isn't a joke. It isn't just something that someone decided to sit down and create for the fun of it. It is actually a video that is depicting future events. In particular, a second 9-11 event that's going to be way worse than the first 9-11 was. It's all becoming pretty clear. Donald Trump tells Americans to sleep well, North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat. Then he goes and stops the war games, potentially stops sanctions as well. In the meantime, China still some submarine secrets and the possibility of dropping a nuclear weapon into the volcano, Kilauea, increases because the crater has doubled in size and the magma has kind of flowed out of it. Helping with the scenario of the island breaking up is the 12,000 earthquakes or 12,000 plus earthquakes the island has experienced since May the 3rd when the volcano started erupting and the potential for tsunamis are there. Plenty of fake tsunami, not fake tsunami warnings, but uh, false tsunami warnings or false tsunami alerts being sent out and then their Cascadia Rising drill, which is four years away, but they're preparing now. Arizona preparing to take earthquake evacuees. Something's coming. That's all I can really, that's all I can really say. Something is coming. This hat that George Bush is wearing, George Bush we think also represents Donald Trump in this video. It's not just a dunce cap. I've overlooked it, but it's a party hat. Donald Trump's birthday is tomorrow. US flag day is tomorrow. If you want to kind of bring you to that point US flag day is tomorrow Ramadan ends <laughs> tomorrow the World Cup starts tomorrow and this come to the White House event is also starting tomorrow at 2 o'clock I think that it's possible that Donald Trump might get shot on his birthday. This video, the iPad Go video, depicts a silhouette of Donald Trump or an outline of Donald Trump with an injury to the back of his head multiple times throughout this video. So it's not me wishing that this happens. This is me interpreting what I see. So when I'm looking at this scene and we know that it's the Korean Peninsula, we can see a rich skeleton. We can tell he's rich because he's wearing diamonds. Sorry. We can tell he's rich because he's wearing a diamond ring, top hat, cape. It's an affluent person. Donald Trump's a billionaire, so that's not too much of a, a leap to make. Then we've got the party favour and the fireworks, which could be explosions, but they look like fireworks going off in the background, which we have all interpreted as some form of celebration, whether that was New Year's or North Korea and South Korea getting together. But we haven't presented it as Donald Trump's birthday. And it's a possible interpretation. Rich guy. Fireworks. Party favour. Even on a different frame. I'm not going to try and find it now. But on a different frame you can see that the skeleton has a circle towards the back of his head on the right side. Which indicates like, you know, some sort of target. 
again, as I said, the video depicts the silhouette of Donald Trump being shot in the back of the head on the right side multiple times. When it happens, haven't been exactly sure, but one of my interpretations for the date was February the 14th, which turned out not to be Donald Trump getting shot, but a school shooting taking place in Florida. What if the 14 was correct, but I just got the the month wrong in, in respect to Donald Trump? Something still did happen in that month of February, and on the date I was thinking, involving a gun and the name that I thought, Jesus, but it wasn't Donald Trump. But we've got another 14 coming up. After the Iran nuclear deal, after moving the US embassy, after meeting Kim Jong-un, we have this 14 coming up, which is Donald Trump's birthday. A possible interpretation of him getting shot on his birthday is coming from this scene here. It's just my interpretations. I don't know if it's going to come true, and I really hope it doesn't, because obviously that would mean that this video is really, really real. And even though I believe that it's real from not only my interpretations and other people's interpretations that have seemed to have some connection to this video, as well as the usage of the music for an important summit between two world leaders. It just, I, I don't even know what to say anymore, you guys. I really don't know what to say. This one is blowing my mind a little bit. I'm trying my best to just give you the information without, you know, going off track too much. In relation to the 14th and the 15th, we know that Ramadan ends around that time. We know that um, the Iranian backed uh, militias and the Syrian army and the US backed militias and the Kurdish forces and the Turkish forces, they're all building up around Syria ready to go to war against each other. And we know that Damascus is going to be left in a ruinous heap. Damascus is already pretty much destroyed. But, you know, if this war is going to kick off the way I think it's going to kick off, then it's going to be left in even more of a mess. And then there's the potential for Iran being struck. And that's where we come to this report, which says Iran basically will hit enemies back 10 times harder if they get hit with even one missile. So it just made me think about the iPad Go video again, back in this scene, where we're seeing uh, potentially uh, Israel using F-35 fighter jets, launching one missile, um, Looks like it hits a mosque in this video, but that mosque could just represent Islam in general, or it could represent Iran. And then we have, after the one missile, five missiles coming out in response, which is kind of, it's not ten times the amount, but it, it goes along that n narrative that the force that comes out is more than the force that went in. So, what do you take from that? You take what you want from it, but what I'm taking from it is... When the 14th comes to an end, that's the deadline for the EU to save the nuclear deal. If there's no concessions from the EU, then Iran is going to start up its nuclear reactors, which, you know, Israel could wait until they're more into their program, or from the moment they start up their nuclear reactors, Israel could decide, okay, that's it, we're going ahead and striking them. They've just received new F-35 fighter jets, which are stealth, stealth fighter jets, so you know, shouldn't be able to be tracked when taken off a landing. We've got the reports of them, Israel, sending fighter jets to scope out Iran's nuclear targets, all of which I've already reported. But as we're getting into the time, I mean, today's the 13th at 10 past 10, and tomorrow is the 14th, and then we're going on to the 15th, and uh, I'm thinking from the time the sun goes down on the 14th is when all of this really kicks off in relation to Donald Trump and the potential scenario involving him. I have no time um, for when that may happen. I don't know. I don't know what he's up to tomorrow, if he's going to be in Washington, if he's going to be in Florida. If he's in Florida, then it's even more concerning because, you know, the whole IPEC goat started in Florida where George Bush was reading the book to the children in the school and then the 9-11 attacks happened. If it's to run along that same kind of narrative then Donald Trump could be in Florida when or if he gets shot you know and then everything else can spiral out from that EMP nuclear weapon volcano earthquake tsunami war going on in the Middle East um then war obviously 
carrying on on the Korean Peninsula. I don't know if it's going to happen at the same time. Um, but as I said, it doesn't look like Donald Trump dies. It looks like he remains alive. But, you know, after being shot in the head, are you going to be thinking correctly? What are you going to do from the iPad Goat video if we are interpreting it correctly after this point where uh, the George Bush character who may represent Donald Trump kind of goes blank almost as if he's been hit in the back of the head? After this point, he starts going crazy, arms waving all about the place and things like that. So it could be an interpretation that things, especially on the Korean Peninsula, where there's just been kind of peace and safety talks between him and Kim Jong-un. It could be that after this event happens, if it happens, things in his head go crazy. And yeah, everyone starts getting blamed. It's you, it's you, it's you. Fool me once, can't fool me again. I blame you, Iran. I blame you, North Korea. I blame you, Russia. I blame you, China. I blame you, Obama. The blame game is going to be played quite a bit. Um, even as I was just saying that, as he was moving his hands, it did kind of look like that. that's what he was doing, like pointing his fingers at who did it, who did it, who was it, who, you know? Um, and that scenario is something we've already thought about because we know that Iran or North Korea or even Russia or China, are going to be blamed for whatever nuclear event takes place, especially if it's a nuclear event involving a volcano. Um, I believe it will either be Iran or North Korea that's blamed for that. Um, and from there, things really take off. So you guys, I'm tired, and I'm going to get some rest. Um, but I will be watching... And uh, obviously, I'll uh, alert you guys if there's anything I find that is uh, needs immediate attention. But for now, just know that it appears that the uh, creator of this video did use the iPad Goat music. Donald Trump is then telling people to sleep well. And obviously, we know the whole theory about being asleep and being awake. Do you really want to sleep well or do you want to be awake? I'd rather be awake. North Korea is a nuclear threat. I don't think they're actually going to be the ones that do anything. I think it's going to be a false flag like 9-11 that then allows the US and its allies and everybody else to engage in this war where they will reduce humanity's population down to under 500 million, just as the Georgia Guidestones have instructed. The Antichrist will come out. The One World Religion will come out. The One World Government will be there. The uh, one, one World Financial System will be there, the Mark of the Beast 666, the uh, FEMA camps and all that. And none of that is very difficult to imagine uh, once you imagine a war that basically decimates everywhere. After that, a new system comes in. It's the new world order. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless.